people sometimes ask me why I'm solo backpacking. And the reason is simple. You don't know who you are until you spend enough time by yourself in a place that is completely out of your comfort zone. You can be whoever you want to be, try different sides of you out, and just experiment with yourself. And a lot of people think that solo backpacking can be like lonely, which it can be, it definitely can be. But at the same time, you're almost never alone. Mostly because it's so much easier to meet people when you are alone. Like when you travel with other people, you end up staying in their vicinity, hanging out with them. And it makes it sometimes harder to actually meet more people. But when you're traveling alone and you're just in a situation where, you know, you walk into a hostel and, you know, you don't know anybody, what usually ends up happening is someone either asks you a question or you ask someone else a question. Something along the lines of, where are you from? Where are you going? Where have you been? And, you know, before you know it, you, you're kind of going to dinner with them, climbing a volcano with them, traveling together for months. Like, there's so much that happens when you start alone because anything is possible. Now, that being said, when I was in Antigua, Guatemala, the very first week there, I got COVID. Now, the COVID itself is fine, and it's not like it was anything serious at all, but it's one of those situations where you are forced to be alone. You know, I had to get my own private room, get away from everybody else, isolate, quarantine. And it was the first time during this trip where I was alone for a lot longer than I had during the beginning of my trip. And even after my quarantine ended, I actually spent a lot of time in Antigua just walking around by myself and exploring the city the way I wanted to explore it. I actually ended up spending a month in Antigua. Now, it's not like I was alone the whole time. I actually heard two people speaking Japanese in the street and I followed them. I quite literally followed them into a cafe, which turned out to be a cafe run by another Japanese man. Um, so I was actually surrounded by a lot of Japanese people for this one month stay I had in Antigua, uh, which was kind of ironic because I was never expecting to meet Japanese people while traveling. So these are some moments from me wandering around the city of Antigua, Guatemala. Thank you.